internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. Turn up your sound so you can hear what's going down. It's a Monday. It's a Magic Monday. And I've got a friend, Matthew, on for today. And we're going to be talking about uh, money. Matthew, you there? <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. Yes, we are going to be talking about money. Yeah, money's an interesting thing because I know people get weird with it when you, like, if someone says, well, how much you got in your bank account? It's kind of like, hey, that's personal. But money is just a byproduct of energy, really. You do some work, and then you figure out how to get it. So let's let's learn a little bit about you. You live where? Uh, I live in uh, Prescott, Arizona. It's about two hours north of Phoenix. Golf. I always think of golf when I think of Arizona. <laughs> we do have a lot of golf courses, for <laughs> sure. How long you lived out there? Uh, about five years. About five years. Before that, I was in Pennsylvania for about a year or so, and then uh, originally from Dallas, and then my whole family is from the Bronx in New York. Good God, you zigzag all over the place, and then you got <laughs> smart and moved to Arizona. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, least, for sure. At least Dallas, you're in the central time zone. You're just Southerners for us, right down 35W. I've done it many times. <laughs> yeah, oh man. So what pulled you over to Arizona then from the East Coast? Uh, to- graduate school, actually. You know, oh, I... Yeah. Uh, I found that there was a graduate school where you can kind of design your own degree and put it together. And that's what I really wanted at the time. And so I found a school here in Prescott called Prescott College. And uh, it was just, I don't know, it was just uh, an amazing experience for sure. Well, that's cool. The idea of sort of having a, a menu or a, what do you, what do you call it? Like, uh, like, like college du jour or something. You can kind mm-hmm. of just pull it all together. That's a, oh, that's yeah, a, yeah. That's a I mean, it was idea. amazing. And there's not many schools that can do that. But this one did it. And that's what I was looking for. Got it. So now, uh, from what I understand, we talked briefly. You are you help people find money. <laughs> that's, that's a cool job, <laughs> cool gig. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it's um, it, it's pretty powerful because you know there's a there's a big you know social media and media kind of movement right now where uh, we're at 1.3 trillion dollars in student loan debt, and mm-hmm. we're you know more and more people are are taking out loans, and it's kind of the norm. And so I kind of I went against the norm and decided that I didn't want to owe anybody anything. And I started out my undergraduate where I found all my uh, money that I needed for undergraduate school, for living, for books, for for everything that I would need. And then I kind of replicated uh, that same process for my grad school. So I went to undergrad and grad school without taking out loans. And, wow. Uh, now I, I want to kind of show that to people because I see how much of a burden it is. To, to have to take out loans because, again, I think this generation is getting inundated with so much media about loans are bad and, you know, oh, my God, you're going to owe for the rest of your life. And so, you know, I'm just trying to help out. Well, it makes total sense. I mean, I've always been self-employed. I started doing magic when I was a little kid, and that got me in the events industry, and I've always done my own deal other than out of high school. I did have a job for a little, for about three years, but I got laid off and thought, well, that's not very secure, so I just went into self-employment. And the concept of college didn't make sense to me because I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was an entrepreneur. But in the earlier days, it was you go and you got a degree in something. And when you showed that that degree to someone, they go, oh, well, you're smart. We'll hire you. But those days are gone. So so it's a new world we're living in. And, And college is still a good thing to get educated and stuff. But the idea of going to college and then leaving college with a bunch of debt is ridiculous. In my opinion, it's hard, and you know, and also the the work industry, right, is forcing it in that direction because you know I could see easily in five to ten years from now where even uh, that no one will even be able to get uh, a job without a bachelor's degree. You know, you won't be able to work at McDonald's, Walmart, no fast food industries. You know, no, no, really, no places will probably even hire high school graduates because the job market's going to require at least a bachelor's, and it's a bummer. Uh, because I think that's, you know, that's sad, but at the same time, you know, we got to change and adapt to it. And so those people that were like, ah, you know, cause you know, in, in your, 
<laughs> in your time era, <laughs> you could That's get away, right. <laughs> you could get away with not having a degree and now it's become very difficult to get away with it, move through life and, and really provide for a family. And it's going to get even more difficult as time goes by. Well, but, other than like the person that wants to go into business for themselves, um, they may be able to get different kinds of degrees just for the education, not necessarily to show the degree to a boss, but to, to be smart when they get into the business of the marketing world or whatever. So yeah, what, yeah, you, what you're doing is you are helping people be able to fund and finance, learn how to do that kind of thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. I'm so, trying to show them step by step how to actually fund their own education. So do you do this? Do you have like an office or a classroom or something in Arizona? So that's where people learn or do you to do stuff online so people can from anywhere basically in the country can learn how to do this? So I made it available to anybody in the country uh, and it's through freeeducationuniversity.com and you can go to that website and you can check out uh, some introduction videos about me. You can also see all the curriculum, and it's 11 courses, so I've condensed about 10 years of experience into about five and a half hours of videos. So there's 11 courses, and then on top of that, you get email support from me personally, and you also get a one-on-one -on -one session, so we can actually talk like this through maybe Skype right. or through video chat so that we can work through uh, any of the kinks that you might be bumping up against as you move through all the curriculum. And you're gonna get resources, you're gonna get your story, you're gonna figure out how to actually apply to scholarships. And so you're getting all this for about $1,995, but we're actually giving, uh, exclusive to your listeners, a mm -hmm. uh, $400 scholarship. Oh, cool. I didn't in. I didn't know you were gonna do that, but that's pretty cool, 400 bucks, yeah, what yeah, the hell. So you can type <laughs> in, anybody uh, that's listening now or, or might be uh, eventually can type in JKC20 into the promo code and get a $400 scholarship. Uh, so then that'll bring it down even further to 1595. And again, I can help you find tens of thousands of dollars. And, and I get that that can be a little overwhelming saying, oh yeah, some guy can do this. And so, you know, dip your toes in by just subscribing for free. And I'll give you an exclusive video uh, that's part of the curriculum about my personal story of how I did undergraduate. Uh, school and I'm telling you, you're going to get some resources already right off the bat and, and some good things that you can try out already. Well, I, I do these interviews so people can get to know who you are and realize it's not some scammer from you know the Far East or something doing some internet goofy stuff with fake videos and all that kind of stuff. So you're real and you're human, and I can I can see that, and that's why I do these videos because uh, I'm a little frustrated with some of that stuff that you see online. But the reason I bring that up is because we know who you are, I'm assuming that you have some kind of like maybe a free intro or email thing so they can kind of get to know more what the program might be because everybody these days is skeptical, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you can get free intro videos and a bunch of, uh, so there's two intro videos about me and then again, if you subscribe at freeeducationuniversity.com, then you just type in your name and email and then we'll send you an exclusive video that's all about my undergraduate video. Uh, and all about my undergraduate story. And okay. then uh, on that page, there's a contact where it's my personal email and phone number because I didn't want to be disconnected at all to the people that are actually, you know, wanting to kind of figure out, okay, what is this all about? And I need to talk to Matthew first and figure out and ask some more questions. So then feel free to do that. And, and I know we're in a generation of texting, so feel free to text me too. <laughs> Okay. Uh, see, that's cool because I think a lot of people initially they see this and they go right away, they go scam. That's what a lot of people do. They go, okay, you're doing some kind of scam. But uh, they get to get to know who you are and all that kind of stuff. So if, uh, yeah. if you did pull something over, they'd come and kick your ass or something, right? So you get, That's what I do. I put myself out there. My phone number's out there. I'm not trying to screw anybody over. So I wanted to give another little boost in that if people understood the value of something like this, it would change their thinking. And I use this story that I had. I was doing some printed circuit board com work for a, a computer company and they had a PC board that would go in this way just fine and if it went in this way it would blow up the machine. So what I did was I changed one of the part numbers to make one screw longer so now it doesn't go in the wrong way it only goes in the right way. That's cool. And what that costed me was very minimal but what I what they got out of it was a lot. So that's kind of what I'm trying to say is someone that invests in this, I mean, it's probably better to spend a couple thousand bucks than to be $50,000 in debt. 
Yeah, and, you know, and I have many success stories, and I've helped out a lot of people over the years, over the last five, you know, to seven years, I've been helping people get thousands and tens of thousands of dollars in scholarship money. And, and this is something that you don't just use for undergraduate, you use for graduate school, uh, post-grad, PhD. If you're one of those that are self-starters, that's great. This is the same concept, right? In, in, in my video, Funding 101, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. And more importantly, it's not who you know, but who knows you, yeah. right? If I'm going to invest in you, I, I need to trust you. That's really what it is at the end of the day. I need to trust that where my money is going is going to a good cause and that I know who you are. And and the only way to trust somebody is to know who they are. Yep, right? exactly. That, it's, it's about that relationship thing. I talk yeah. about that a lot, too, that uh, planting the seed and generating the lead is one thing. But then there's this big relationship. It's yeah. it's like you go into a nightclub, you see an attractive person across the room. So you run over and kiss them on the mouth, say, let's have kids. No relationship. It takes time. Be yes. Patient. And so that's, that's what I'm trying to kind of instill in people is, is bringing that story out that makes you unique, uh, connecting those to funding resources, building that relationship over time and not creating just a funding um, resource or stream from one place, but from five to 10 different places. And then over time for undergrad, graduate school and, and beyond. See, that makes total sense, and th th this can get into a longer conversation because my mind just takes stuff in and starts creating out of it. But uh, So before I ask my favorite question, I'm going to ask you again how we get a hold of you, but then um, I wanted to throw this other thought out. Two thoughts. Um, is this something that uh, an older guy like me might participate in, or is it just for the people that are just going into college? No, it can it can go to anybody and at any age at any time because uh, if you're going for your education, you know, undergrad, you know, like you said, uh, you never got an undergraduate degree. So if you're going for that, then we can work on that. So I've worked with 17 year olds and I've worked with 55 and 60 year olds and beyond. I mean, uh, and looking okay. at going to get their masters or their PhD or going to trade school, it doesn't matter where it's at. There's a lot of funding and money out there to uh, take advantage of. And the other thing I wanted to interject is the concept of building those relationships so that, uh, you know, who knows you and who you know kind of thing. That once you've graduated and got your job or started your business or whatever, those relationships can probably expand out to later on. Maybe somebody wants to invest in a new app you're going to design or something. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. You know, I mean, it's uh, it's huge. So it's not just building undergraduate stuff, but you're also building your your competency into your career and your connections into your career. Right? These are going to be interview questions that you're yep. going to be. You know, you need to tell them who you are and why they should hire you. Yep, exactly. So before I ask my final question, why don't you one more time tell us how to get a hold of you? It's uh, let's see if I can remember it. It was freeeducationuniversity.com. Yes. Yes. <laughs> my memory's coming back. So it's freeeducationuniversity.com. And uh, again, you can get uh, my contact information that has my personal email, which, which is mseinstone at gmail.com, or you can call me or text me at 214 930 3119, which is on the page. You can watch videos about my story and who I am. Also, you can get an exclusive video about my full undergraduate experience so that you can start kind of trying out things and really looking for resources. And then if you wanted to take a step further and purchase it, then you can put in, again, JKC20 and the promo code and get $400 off. That will bring it down to $15.95, which is cheaper than any SAT or ACT prep, right? I mean, and, and that just gives you a higher score, not necessarily more money. Okay, well, perfect. Okay, then uh, tell us more about what your, what your program that you offer. So the program includes a lot of different things, right? So it includes my undergraduate story, funding concepts and principles. It includes questions that really get you to really think about who you are, where you come from, and what you want to do, which can be used, right? This story is going to be used for your applications. It's going to be used to actually search for funding resources can be used for interviews whenever you get to the bigger scholarships that are twenty or thirty or forty thousand uh, dollars, and it'll also help me help you figure out where the resources are to look for, right? Because right now, right, we're in the World Wide Web where there are hundreds and thousands of different scholarships and databases. So I'm going to help you kind of narrow that down so that it doesn't feel so overwhelming. And then we okay. move into the application stage where I'm going to kind of walk you through what it's like to actually look at an application, what the requirements are, the the different important factors, and then I'm going to be right there with you the entire step 
and all the steps that you're going to take all the way, you know, because I, I don't want to leave you. So that's what makes this different than other online courses. You know, first, there's nothing like this out there. But second of all, it's very interactive. The courses are interactive and you'll be interacting with me, the co-founder, a lot throughout the time so that I can really provide you as much success as possible. So you're going to be getting all that again for fifteen ninety five, so one thousand five hundred ninety five dollars, uh, because you get four hundred dollars scholarship by putting in JKC twenty in the promo code, and then you also get email support from me, so that if you get stuck at any point in time, I'm going to be right there with you also, and then you get one one on one session with me through a video chat, through a phone call, it doesn't matter what it is, so that we can make sure that you find tens of thousands of dollars because there it's out there, mm -hmm. it's all out there. And if you go to freeeducationuniversity.com, you can look at different videos that introduce who I am, talks about the curriculum uh, and the program, and it also will kind of uh, give you contact directly with me at mseinstone at gmail.com, and my phone number is 214-930-3119. And you can text me, call me, and ask me any questions. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to ask my favorite question. That's the big why question. Then I'll take it and I'll get to work and I'll beam this up to the universe there. So the big why question is, why are you doing this and why aren't you like a ski instructor in Arizona or uh, collecting sand for hourglasses or why aren't you like, a, like why aren't you just like hanging out at a golf resort or something? Why are you doing this? You know, you know, I really wanted to retire at 30 and so, you know, I, I appreciate the, you know, I think I will go do golf. No, um, uh, I, I, I really love seeing the expression on people's face that uh, that aha moment, right? So I, I started aha. off because people kept asking me, like Matthew, you need to tell your story, and I'm like, I don't know if I have something to offer. I don't know, you know, maybe. And I started realizing that this is, you know, a very rare thing to have. And so I, you know, I, I gave a speech or I gave at a conference about my story and I just saw people's faces light up of like, oh my God, are you telling me that this is possible? So that's that's definitely one reason. Okay. The, the, second, the second reason is because, you know, when I was 17, I didn't like the idea of owing people anything. And I'm sure <laughs> people the choice, they would not like owing anybody anything either. You yeah. know, that's that's a huge thing. That's a, it's like a ball and chain you know, that you can't escape for life. Uh, and, and there's people that are, there are people that are not doing what they love to do because they owe money. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I just, I'm trying to imagine like, you know, I get answers sometimes like, oh, I want to be an engineer. And I'm like, why? And they're like, well, because they make lots of money and I'm going to need to pay back the loans. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you're probably not going to get that job. I mean, I don't say that to them, but that's what I'm thinking in my head. Because right. I'm like, you're not going to get it because if I was an employer, that's going to come through whenever you're interviewing. Right. right. You know, so, uh, so that, and then the third probably biggest reason is I just love people's stories. I really do. I mean, ever since I was, you know, 15, 16 and waitering, I was a horrible waiter because I would sit and listen to people's stories about where they come from and who they are more than serve them food. So uh, it, it was, it was huge for me to hear people's stories and, and then connect the dots. And I love doing that. Okay. Well, it, it sounds like a common answer. That's what a lot of people say. They uh, they connect because they want to help other people. So appreciate it. I'm going to sign this off and beam it up to the universe, as I say. So appreciate you taking the time. If you want to stick around, we'll chat a little bit further. But I'm going to close this one off and put it in the can, as they say, and beam it up to the universe. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Matthew. Appreciate it.